Oh, some people are hard to buy for. You feel like you need to try more. But this thought usually comes true. That'll do, that'll do, that'll do. Hello, lovelies. How are we? It's Leslie. Not quite enough anything vlog. No, it's not true. I've got too much of most things, but you know what I mean. But it's the not quite enough vlog. <laughs> this is starting well, isn't it? I'm actually recording this Sunday afternoon, but it feels a bit Monday morning-ish. We've just had a bit of a day, a <laughs> bit of a moment. Madam decided to find her way out of the garden. So we let her out in the garden, let her have a run around. And then she seemed to be gone a long time. Oh dear Lord. We're on the bend in a road. So our garden is a, is an odd shape. It kind of, it doesn't go straight down from the house. It goes at an angle. And then there's another one that kind of comes in. And then there's another one that comes here. And then there's one, it, yeah. So they're all kind of slightly odd shape, but they feel like they should be kind of slices of a cake, but they're not that uniform. Himself was looking for the dog. I went upstairs to see if I could see if she was in any of the gardens that we can see from upstairs in our house. Then he said he found her and she was in the house two doors away or in the garden of the house two doors away. So we were trying to call her, but of course she wasn't having any of that. Uh, so he went round to those neighbours. Luckily, we have lovely neighbours in this street. <laughs> and they came to help sort of call her in. And the neighbour said that he wasn't aware of any gap between in the fence between his house and ours. But there was a gap. It's basically a fox run between his house and next door to us but we can't see any gap between our house and next door so we still don't know how she got out um so himself was kind of that way seeing that neighbor i went round to this neighbor managed to bribe her towards me with a treat and then stuck a lead on her so i could get her home and safe oh talk about palpitations <laughs> And uh, well, once we got her home, I said to himself, oh, do you need to let the neighbours know that we've got her? He said, no, just put it on the, the neighbourhood WhatsApp group. So I put it on that she was home safely and in a corner so she can think about what she's done and thanking them for their help in retrieving her. <gasps> oh, dear. So his task for the morning is to um, make sure that Madam can't get out. The neighbour on this side, we said that he thinks there might be a loose panel so he's going to nail that down but himself is also going to uh, check the perimeter tomorrow oh blimey that we do not need <laughs> and i was hoping to listen to a radio play which was starting just as all this was going on so i came upstairs to listen to that down uh, himself was downstairs watching tv after my radio play had finished about an hour later, I went and I said, are you still feeling a bit? Yeah. <laughs> it's that adrenaline thing, isn't it? Kind of like, whoo, and then, whoo. <sighs> we'll sleep well tonight. <sighs> Blinking dog. <laughs> oh, so that was today's little adventure. Prior to that, it had been a very relaxing day. Uh, as I managed to get all of my work done yesterday, then I was able to just sit and knit and catch up partially on podcasts. That was that was a, a, a nice thing to do. So, yes, got a, quite a bit of my shawl done. It's downstairs, so I haven't got it with me, but I'm on to the fourth of five colours now. So certainly cracking on with that. I really would like to be able to wear it at Christmas as the yarn was a gift last Christmas, but we shall see. Yes, yeah, so I was expecting to say, oh, not much happened today. And then the dog put the spanner in the works. Little monkey. Yes. <clears throat> the trouble is I had to give her a treat to get her to come close because she's not stupid. She would run off, but it then looks like I'm rewarding the behavior. But I suppose I rewarded her for coming to me when I called her. 
<laughs> because I had a treat in man. Oh, I'm not gonna worry about dog psychology just at this moment. Thank you for all your comments and thoughts, uh, especially from yesterday's uh, TED talk. Um, <laughs> much appreciated. Um, and I know some of you have shared kind of things that you've had happen this year or not just this year that put the put the down on things. So you have my you have my affection, my sympathy, my support, my respect. Um, thank you. All right. It's been a quiet day. Um, I've finished wrapping the last of the presents, I think, I hope. Um, a few cards that probably won't get to where they're going in time, but I've got the last few to go in the post. And I think we're kind of done. I've, I've reached the what I haven't done now isn't going to get done stage. Apart from the grocery shopping, which I'll probably do six o'clock Christmas Eve morning, as is my, my want. Speaking to my father um, earlier, because I'm meant to be seeing him on Christmas Eve assuming there aren't restrictions put in place there are thoughts that there might be but we'll see um and saying to him you know would he rather we get a takeaway than go out to a restaurant and he's he's pondering that at the moment so um yeah we'll see we'll see oh it's all it's all very disappointing but some things are. It's, uh, we can't always have lovely times. Sometimes we have to have less lovely times. And that's okay. I'm doing the Debbie Downer thing again. I don't mean to. Cheers. Good health. Um, I had someone, and forgive me, I can't remember who said about the songs going all in one video. I will compile them all, as I did last year and do a separate video of just all the songs. Uh, that will go up on Christmas Eve. My Christmas Eve uh, Vlogmas will probably be late in the day UK time as opposed to earlier in the day because of going to see my dad's so on record footage on the way. But yeah, I think that's it for today. Tomorrow, um, I hope that the weather is a little brighter than it is today because I have a burial ceremony. Uh, we're mostly in the chapel, but then going outside, obviously, for the burials. So hopefully it will stay dry for that. Then I'm out with my mate Mandy, who hits a significant birthday tomorrow. And it's somewhere where they usually have Christmas stuff. So we're going to go there, have a look at their Christmas stuff, have a cup of tea and a bit of cake for her birthday. And uh, that should be good. And that will be it for tomorrow because the drumming Christmas party was meant to be tomorrow evening. Not happening, but for the most sensible of reasons. So so that will be tomorrow. So hopefully I'll have some exciting footage to show you. Well, I'll show you the footage on Tuesday. Yeah, tomorrow morning. Yeah, I'm doing that time thing again. <laughs> I record these. So like today I'm recording this Sunday. It'll go up Monday morning. So I'll put it all together now, put it onto YouTube, schedule it to come up tomorrow morning so that if I'm caught up with work stuff, it doesn't get delayed for any reason. That's why I'm, I'm getting confused about time and days and dates and stuff. And I'm a couple of weeks early because between Christmas and New Year, no one knows what day of the week it is. That we understand. But this week, people usually know. But anyway, you take care of yourselves, look after yourselves. Thanks again for, for being part of the not quite enough whatever world. And I'll see you tomorrow. Take care. Bye bye.